What is up, everybody? Welcome today, Wednesday, Wednesday, May 6, 2020. I hope that you're doing well after yesterday's Cinco de Mayo celebrations. For any of you out there that were, uh, you know, celebrating uh, Mexican Independence Day. I think that's what it is anyway. Welcome to Crypto and Coffee. This is your morning jolt of financial news and markets. We talk about crypto. We talk about stocks, commodities, real estate. If you can invest in it, we're going to talk about it. Talking about money, talking about helping people get rich, talking about the weird world that we live in. Hope you guys are having a great day. If you're watching this live, be sure to type in live. We already got six people watching this morning. That's six dollars. We are going to start paying out a dollar per viewer paid out in cryptocurrency. So if you want to make some free money every morning, hey, I'll buy you a cup of coffee for watching the show. How about them apples? Go ahead and like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff that everybody on the internet says. Let's, uh, let's party. Who is ready to party on Wayne. You guys hear me all right out there in the internet world? What do you got cooking today? It uh, sounds like some gale force winds blowing in my neck of the woods. One of my good friends in Texas, she was saying that they had some crazy storms in Dallas yesterday. So, I mean, man, if we were to add some natural disasters onto this whole pandemic thing, that would be wild. I mean, I've been in, I've been in probably at least three earthquakes over, you know, four on the Richter scale in the last two months. I've probably been in 10 total in Salt Lake and Boise. I mean, I've just been, it's, it's going crazy. Also, if you are new to Bitcoin, if you're new to cryptocurrency, check out my website, galactictrust.com. Since 2017, I've been helping people invest in the internet money and to, uh, to get rich off of it. So if you want to learn how to turn $1,000 into a million in the next two to five, uh, five years, be sure to go check out my website. Click on this link, 1K to 1 million. It's gonna, you can watch a, a webcast I did where I explain to you why I believe that every thousand dollars you invest into this market will turn into a million dollars or more in the next two to five years. Check that out. You can also get a copy of my free book, CryptoInvestorSecrets.com, How to Capitalize on the Greatest Investment Opportunity in History. You can get that for free at CryptoInvestorSecrets.com. In fact, here you go. We'll make this easy for everyone here. Go here. Watch some videos. Oh, there, I'll do that here in a minute. Go here, get a free book. Change your life, how to invest in digital assets. And then, hey, and that's some more free, some more free stuff for you. Go, be sure to go join our, tele, our, uh, our Discord channel. Be sure to join this Discord channel. This is where we can all communicate like-minded individuals talking about crypto, talking about all sorts of weird stuff in this community. So all that stuff's free. Go check it out. Let's have some fun. And then also, sorry, if you currently have crypto, EOS, Tron, Ethereum, any of those, I mean, be sure to join our the, the Galactic Crypto Network where we're going to show you how to get great returns on your crypto by staking. We're going to talk about proof of stake here in a moment, but that's really where crypto has evolved to now is really these staking programs. So how to get, you know, 6.62%. Actually, my rolling is 6.44% APR right now on my EOS tokens. So if I started with a thousand, just using a round number, if I started with a thousand, I would get, you know, 60 extra coins by the end of the year. And then if, those, if the price doubles, then I win both ways. I got the EOS coin and I've got the, the dollar price. And then also giving you an update on the mirror trading. If you're holding Bitcoin and you want to get up to a percent a day, 1% a day, 
obviously, here's a disclaimer, you could get zero, you could get over one. But the average that I've been tracking right now, you know, it's anywhere from, you know, half a percent upwards of a percent paid out Monday through Friday. Also a phenomenal affiliate program. I mean, in the last week, I mean, I've made some good money in the last week just by people watching this show and, and joining the, the mirror trading team. It's phenomenal. You can see right here, every single Monday through Friday, getting paid out yesterday, you know, four tenths of a percent day before that, almost three quarters of a percent, almost half a percent. I mean, at Monday through Friday, every evening, just getting paid out so you can buy some crypto. Here's a spreadsheet. I've been tracking it since day one. I got in it on in April 6th. Today is uh, yesterday was my last payment. So I'm averaging almost half a percent. 0.47. You can see where my portfolio started at. I wish I could go back here and see. It's like two. I, I started with 200. 200. I started with 200. I'm sitting at 5,900 right now. And, you know, being with these deposits, I'm, I'm at 2%. I'm actually, I've more than tripled my investment. But anyways, disclaimer, do your own research. I'm just a guy on the internet trying to share this stuff with people. Okay, moving into the markets though. Bitcoin up 4.6% sitting at $9,272. Yo, Big D, if you're watching this, buddy, I still think it's going to crash, but I could be wrong. Ethereum up 2.2% sitting at $208 and rounding up the top three. XRP up 2% sitting at 22 cents. Total market cap is at up 3.6% today, guys. We're sitting at $258 billion. And Bitcoin dominance just continues to rise, sitting at 65.9% dominance over the market. Five days left in the halving event. Yesterday, we talked about past performance. And what happens, what has happened typically after halvings is look at that run up. Holy moly, macaroni. Look at this one. I think if you would have got in here, oh my gosh. I mean, you're a Bitcoin billionaire. Stats. Oh, look at all those stats. And you can go check out all this information for yourself. Oh, I'm watching. <laughs> 92 Hundy. That's my man right there, Dustin Crawford. My man out in the oil field just kicking ass and taking names. I mean, you probably got a fucking jackhammer in one hand and a Bud Light in the other hand, just kicking ass and taking names, buddy. Love you, man. Going into the charts, again, Bitcoin breaks that 9,200. We did it before. We did it just last week. Just last week, we broke. We, when we, we hit it, what, about 9,500? So again, this does not mean much to me. This does not mean... Uh, again, uh, I, I'm looking at a bit much bigger macro. We're going to talk about a lot of these things that I'm seeing in the markets. The economy is not getting better. And I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy. I'm not trying to, you know, uh, spread fear, uncertainty, or doubt. But there's a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the market. And so with that type of energy, you've got a much better chance of a crash, a panic, a sell-off, then a, just a massive up, up uh, trend because people are saving their dollars. They're saving their dollars. They're probably stacking up on food. They're stacking up on toilet paper. They're stacking up on condoms because who wants to have a kid in, right now, you know? Who would want to have a kid and then freaking, you ain't got no toilet paper. How are you going to wipe that kid's butt? So it's looking, it's, it's, we're, yeah, we're above 9,000, but we're not out of the woods yet. Bitcoin price Chris crosses 9K as Peter Schiff warns of collapse. The battle to secure 9,000 as support grinds on as an ever critical shift. Peter Schiff claims the collapse of Bitcoin is not far away. This guy's a, I used to really like Peter Schiff when I was a uh, gold and silver investor, but I think he is just an absolute arrogant moron. And I, I you know what? And I, 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 but I can't empathize with him. He has got his whole life. He's invested his whole life, his whole career 
is in gold and silver. And so when something this disruptive comes out, our cognitive biases, his own ego will not allow him to see this as an opportunity and to see this, that this isn't going anywhere. This isn't going to crash. Gold, I don't think gold will crash either, but the dollar is going to crash. Okay, Bitcoin price rose to take 9,000 yet again on May 6th as the mission to create new support levels continued. Data from Cointelegraph market showed Bitcoin, the top ranked cryptocurrency by market capitalization, grinded upwards overnight on Tuesday, having hit lows near 8,800. The past week has seen multiple crossings of the $9,000 boundary with markets still undecided about the area's strength. This is why I would not get in right now, Dustin, because this is all just trading activity. These are people with a lot of money that they can, they can trade these smaller ranges. And you might be getting some people in that are thinking, hey, I want to get in before this Bitcoin halving. But now, I mean, we're five days away. I think that, you know, a lot of that was, is bought in over here. The time to get in is here. Oh, my gosh. I hope it goes down. There it is. Okay. Ethereum looks exactly the same as yesterday. But what I wanted to talk about is the five hidden principles in staking and validating. The Ethereum community may face some difficulties with the transition from proof of work to proof of stake model. Here's what you need to know, okay? As the Ethereum community anticipates the long awaited launch of Ethereum 2.0, Users are also bracing themselves for a major systematic shift from proof of work model to a proof of stake. As a reminder, in proof of work networks, miners have to complete, compete with one another to solve complex mathematical problems to validate a block. The first miner to solve the problem is rewarded with the block reward. That's how Bitcoin works. I've talked about this a little bit. Blockchain are just blocks of transactions. How Bitcoin works is you have all these computers around the world that are solving those transactions and validating and verifying those transactions. And once a block is completed, the computer that solved that block gets paid out a reward. That reward is paid out in Bitcoin. Proof of stake is like EOS here or this DICE uh, platform. So by staking, I'm actually lending or staking my coins on the network. And so then they're using those coins, they're using those resources, and then they're paying out interest, just like at the bank. Just Your bank is proof of stake. You're staking your coins, you're depositing your coins, and you're allowing them to use that money to do whatever they want. And the agreement, the handshake that you make with them is, hey, I'll, I'll deposit my money in the bank, you'll give me maybe 1%, and you'll keep my money safe. How's that working out for you? Okay, so now Ethereum is evolving from proof of work to proof of stake. And people are probably apprehensive as to the results thereof. Whereas in proof of stake networks, token holders or validators need to stake or risk their tokens to validate transactions. Validators who verify honest transactions are rewarded with newly minted tokens, but are punished or slashed for allowing false or incorrect transactions to go through. Ooh, very interesting. As the promise of proof of stake system becomes a reality, the industry is preparing itself for a more secure and efficient way of achieving the same goals once provided by the proof of work system. Excuse me. Proof of stake systems consume exponentially less power and systematically increase decentralization by lowering the barrier of entry into network participation. While the transition from proof of work to proof of stake may be initially difficult for the community, keeping these five principles in mind will make the transition easier for everyone. If you want to learn a little bit more about proof of stake, there you go. There you go. XRP broke 22 cents, but it's looking the same to me. Ripple joins ISO Global Standards Body on cross-border payments. 
So I've spoke about this on the show. Uh, as far as mass adoption goes, I don't think that there is a cryptocurrency that is even comparable to the advancements towards mass adoption as Ripple and XRP. Ripple claims to be the first decentralized ledger technology focused member of the global ISO 222 standards body, driving international standards for interoperability between financial institutions. Ripple has become a member of the ISO 20022 standards body, which is driving a new standard, a new data standard for payments and data messaging between global financial institutions. The company claims to be the first distributed ledger technology focused member of the group, which includes a number of international commercial and central banks, along with payment processing entities like Swift and Visa. So very interesting. And again, that's why I like Ripple so much is that they have taken kind of the Trojan horse uh, approach is that they're going big technology like crypto, like decentralized or distributed ledger technology. All technologies start where the money's at. Big industry. So even let's look at the cell phone, computer, internet. Big industries adopt the technologies first before the, the, the masses do. And so what Ripple's done is they've gone through and they've, they've created all these incredible partnerships with all of the, the biggest banks in the world, the biggest central banks in the world. So they are, they're going in and they're providing value and they're showing them, hey, this isn't all about you know, drug dealers and human trafficking on the dark web. This is a technology that's not going away. We can save you trillions of dollars, literally save you trillions of dollars, save you countless hours of time in sending wire transfers. Wire transfers, still using a very old archaic system to send cross-border payments. And uh, XR, Ripple XRP is just disrupting that. Okay, moving on to traditional markets. It's like a Groundhog's Day. Dow Jones, it was broken above 24,000 earlier, but we're sitting at uh, 23,845 as of right now. Okay. And small business loans are not going proportionately to the hardest hit areas. I'm so surprised that people are surprised by this. Like, when are people going to wake up to realize, like, man, the government does not care about you? They don't care about you. They don't care about your business. They care about their own agendas and you do not you're not privy to that information the information i'm reading you right now that's this is so this is already old they've been the people that are really in in control and the people at the highest levels of government and they're they're planning stuff out years in advance so to think if you can't see the writing on the wall yet man you got to share this information, but I'm so grateful that I see so many people waking up now and seeing through their veil of lies. There's still a lot of people that are just dead asleep and they're just now just distracting. I bet there were so many, I bet alcohol sales were off the charts yesterday for Cinco de Mayo. Airbnb hosts are building their own direct booking websites, but here's what I really want to talk about. Uber to lay off 3,700 employees or about 14% of its workforce. So today in the news, Uber laying off 14% of its workforce. Airbnb, 25% of its workforce being laid off today. I mean, it's wild. WHO says there can be no going back to business after you uh, business as usual and oil 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 having a little letting off some steam after this mighty run up after uh you know this crazy sell off gold gold though testing that line right there i mean it could be either a good day to get in or you might want to wait. We might break through. So this is an important line to see what happens. Is it going to break through that long-term support and resistance line? Or 
is it going to break? Are we going to, are we headed for a run up? And then also there could be one of those little, oh yeah, see, so you also got one of those little pennant things forming. And same with silver. We're just really watching to see what's going to happen over. I mean, we only got two more days in the trading week for gold and silver. So we'll see what happens. We're going to have a breakup or a breakdown. Gosh, I mean, I don't know about you. Just looks like so many things are coming to a head. Something's got to give. Something's got to change with this whole freaking rigmarole. Goldsilver.com. Be sure to go get a copy of your free book at goldsilver.com forward slash free book. Here you go. Here's a little link for you. Go get that free book. You can also check out Mike's YouTube channel right here. Phenomenal, phenomenal. If you're hanging out on the job site or if you're hanging out at home drinking margaritas, watch this, uh, this video, this playlist. It is phenomenal, phenomenal stuff. Let's see what Mike's got to say today. Treasury launches 20-year bond to help fund record borrowing this quarter. Man, unprecedented company, unprecedented company slash over 20 million jobs in April. Holy cow. Listen to the numbers, not the spin. Remember, the media is spinning, spinning everything on you. They are liars. They're lying. You got to look at the numbers. You got to learn to read between the lines. Okay. In other news, why Binance and Akon are betting on Africa for crypto adoption. So you can see, I talk about that in my video. You can go get it right here. Galactictrust.com forward slash galactic crypto network right here. Watch it for free. But I talk about it. These emerging countries, Africa, India, China, Southeast Asia, the Middle East, these emerging countries, they are who are going to benefit the most from crypto adoption, the most. You watching this in America, you're, Americans are, they're very skeptical, they're cynical, and they got a chip on their shoulder. And so, I mean, and with good, with good reason. I mean, humans have a, a tendency to rip each other off. So we're leery. In advance of her crypto across emerging markets panel at Consensus distributed on May 11th, Lei Cohen Kuhn is writing a three-part column on how cryptocurrencies are used in the developing world in her first installment explored Bitcoin adoption in the Middle East. The future of money will be defined by African markets where cryptocurrency awareness and usage surge Hey, what are you doing? Getting some paper? There's Noah. What are you doing today, buddy? You going to play Hot Wheels? Come say hi to everybody on, in the world. Come and say hi. Hi. What's that? You got a, what's on your shirt? You make that? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Hey, if I go up there and you cut up all that double-sided tape, dude, oh, we're going to have some problems. Almost done. All right. Aspiring entrepreneurs like Ghana high school student Emanuela see Bitcoin as a tool for international trade, not just speculation. He plans to buy some as soon as he turns 18 and can apply for a local mobile money account. I will use it to open up a business, he said. I mean, it is. I, look at the, these countries. This is a, this is a, I'm going to read this article because this is, this is the truth. What's up, Dana? My little sweet Noah. Um, that's, I mean, these are, these emerging countries, they are, because of technology like this, they are going to surpass the Western world because they are hungry, hungry for advancement in their lives. They've seen the Western culture and they want that. They don't want to live on, sleep on a dirt floor. And I'm, 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 I'm 
you know, making things dramatic. Um, but they will adopt it because they see the opportunity. Whereas, you know, mo if you knew, if you knew with absolute certainty, with every fiber of your being that you could turn a, a, a thousand dollars into a million, you'd be doing it right now. Right. But when I say that most people think, oh, that's too, that's good, too good to be true, or that's not real or Bitcoin's dead or blah, 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 blah. Whereas in these emerging markets, people are hungry for opportunity. They're not nearly as skeptical or cynical. You know, they do their own research. They're getting involved. These people are seeing the light. So once they all dive in, then man, they're going to, I mean, the world is going to shift like nothing we've ever seen before. And then again, like I was saying, Airbnb laying off 25% of its employees. Airbnb is laying off about 25% of its workforce as the coronavirus pandemic upends the travel industry and threatens the economy. Oh, I'll tell you right now, CNN, we're done with you. You just interrupt my show. I'm not, I'm not watching anymore. Your crap. Disney's profit plunged 91% last quarter. Woo! Chasson Samsung Air will not hand the company down to his children. Yeah, I mean, you see that little kid coming in. I mean, I'm trying to spend every penny I've got before I die. So he, he's, you got to figure it out yourself, Noah. Maybe I'll get, I mean, I'll, I'll probably give you a little something on the way there. But Elon Musk is now in line for a $720 million payday. And then lastly, market watch. Why BlackRock says it's time to add more risk to your portfolio. I mean, I, I would disagree, but they're a multi-trillion dollar uh, investment firm. They might, they probably know a thing or two more than me. There are fewer private sector jobs today than there were in April 20, 2001. Dang. Trump says reopening may resort in more deaths. Chinese official says country coronavirus. Two doctors dead, one in intensive care after a mysterious incident in Russian hospital. Oh, what? McConnell defends decisions. All right. Well, well, that's it, guys. That's it in the news today. All right. So. I hope you have a great day. Nothing really on my mind. That's just mind blowing that I got to talk to you about. Um, just a pretty, pretty uh, normal day. Probably going to stay inside all day with Noah because it's probably, I think there's a hurricane outside or something. But uh, yeah, if there's anything I can do to help, feel free to reach out. If you're watching this, you can reach out through this platform. So I hope you have a fantastic Wednesday and I will see you tomorrow.